Hello everyone. Right now, let me show you how to use a DSpace device to control the speed of a DC motor. This system is composed of four different parts. First is the develop computer. This computer should be installed with the MATLAB and a DSpace software we are called DSpace Control Desk. This is the de develop computer. And here, this is the DSpace device. This is the DSpace I.O. board. And this is the DSpace controller board. Here, this is the power electronics board. And here, this is the DC motor. Here, this device is the power supply for the power electronics board. This power electronics board will get the control signal from the this space controller board. And according to the control signal, it will generate a PWM wave to drive the speed of the DC motor through these two wires. OK. Right now, let me show you how to control the DC motor speed through, uh, through this DSpace this, this device. First, on the MATLAB interface, interface we input the um, initial values for VD. VD is uh, equals 24. It means the voltage of this power, power supply. And uh, TS equals 1E negative 4. It's the sampli sampling rate. We open the MDL program, and then download this program to the DSpace controller board from tools and uh, real-time workshop, and then build model. Right now, the MATLAB will start downloading the program to the DSpace controller board. At the same time, we open the DSpace control desk Okay, right now we hear the sound from the DC motor. It means the program, the MATLAB program, has been downloaded to the DSpace, and the DSpace controller is started started controlling controlling the DSpace, the DC motor. Right here in the control desk developer, we open the variable file first. This variable file was generated by the MATLAB program when it was um, downloaded to the when it was downloaded to the this space, and then open this SDF file, and then we open a lab file. This lab file was pre-developed, so we just open it and run it. Change the control mode from edit mode to animation mode. So right now we can. This is the we can uh, use uh, through this interface to control the DC motor speed. Here, here it shows the desired speed and the current speed of DC motor. Here it shows the DC motor phase current. This input box we can we can input and we can set the DC motor desired speed. Here, this display box it shows the DC motor's current speed. We set first. Let's set the desired speed to be one hundred. We can see the current speed change to increase to one hundred, and then further we can increase the. We can set the desired speed to 500. And then current speed increase to 500. And then we further increase the 
the Z speed to 1000, we can see the current speed increased 1000 again, and then further increase the DZ speed to 2000. And then current speed increased to 2000. We can hear the sound, sound from the DC motor changes according to the running speed. And then right now we change the DZ speed to a negative value, for example, negative 100. Okay, the current speed decreased to negative 100. And when, then we increase to negative 1000. And the current speed changed to 1000 again. And further, we can change it to 2000. And we can see the current speed changed to 2000. Right now, let's switch to the motor. Here, we can see the DC motor is running. We can use our finger to feel it. It's running. <laughs> okay. Here, on this uh, power electronics board, it has an interface to get the phase current of DC motor and the feedback to the DSpace I.O. board and then go to DSpace controller board further. And also, we have a decoder on the DC motor. This, from this decoder, we can get the current speed feedback of the motor to the DSpace controller board through DSpace I.O. board. Okay, this is how to use the DSpace device to control the speed of a DC motor. Right now, let's stop running this. Okay, stop running this device, and then change the RAM to the edit mode, and then hit stop button. We can, we don't hear the speed uh, sound of the DC motor anymore. It means the uh, this space device stop controlling the DC motor. We can close the DSpace control desk and then this system is stopped.